Hey everyone, I'm Nick Smith, a new general manager at Golden Guardians, and today I wanted to take some time to talk about some changes coming to our organization and our plans moving into the future. Over the next few months, we'll be announcing both the arrival and departure of multiple staff and players from our organization. Starting with staff, we intend to trim our competitive staff down to four positions, two for LCS, one for Academy, and one coach that will float between both as needed. We intend to take the extra resources from trimming down our staff and push it more into performance and analytics for the team into the future. As for our player changes, we'll talk about multiple different ways that we could move forward building our roster in the future. One of which is to go after star veteran players, which give you an immediate chance at being a top team. But unfortunately, that isn't something that's always available. So instead, I'd like to talk about one of the main roster building philosophies we have going into our future. Our theory behind building a roster involves using one year to find and develop a veteran core, and then use the following years to supplement younger, riskier players into those positions. We believe this gives those rookies the best possible chance to succeed, since they have the wiggle room to make mistakes and take more risk while learning to grow and become future star players. There have been a couple examples of teams doing this in the past to great success, one of which, most recently, was EG, with their transition from 2021 to 2022, putting in Jojo Pyun and Danny into the roster. Our 2022 roster features multiple players with years of experience. So in theory, our 2022 could function as that veteran core building year, and then use 2023 to go forward and supplement rookies around that. That's obviously an option that we're considering, but it doesn't necessarily mean this is the only option we're going to look at going forward. We still have the option to look at building a different core, and that's something that we will consider. To avoid having to rely on other teams' availability, we're putting more of an emphasis on our academy and amateur teams going forward. In the past, Golden Guardians have had a fairly inconsistent performance in academy, with regular roster and staff changes that have left the environment pretty unstable for the development of young players. This is something that we're putting more emphasis on going into the future to stabilize this and create a better environment for those players. Alongside this, we intend to create and support an amateur team, which we have already begun the tryouts for. Supporting the next generation of talent has always been one of the primary focuses for me, and the only way you can do that is to genuinely spend time and money building into that infrastructure. As we look to make these changes to our infrastructure, we'll be opening up three positions within our organization moving forward. We'll be looking for a head coach for our amateur team, an analyst to work with both our LCS and academy teams, and a team operations associate to work on the managerial side with me and Jiu. I hope you guys are excited about the new potential future at Golden Guardians. Obviously, there's a lot of changes that need to be made, but we believe we're making steps in the right direction. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Okay, dope. <laughs>